Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to make a three-point saddle bend with the push-through method. And the advantage to a push-through method, as opposed to the standard method, is you can go with a, a shorter distance on one of the ends and be able to do it more easily. It might save you a couple seconds too, but the main advantage is you can go with a shorter distance. You see, we're going to go from this fitting and jump over this obstacle, which is about two and a half inches, and then we're going to go to this fitting, and we're going to do it with a push-through method. And what I mean by push-through is we're going to start at, at one end here, twist it 180 degrees, do another band, twist it 180 degrees and do another band. Just pushing it through the whole time with your conduit going the same direction. It's the push through method. So let's measure this up. We're going to go from this fitting right here to the middle of this obstruction. Okay, so this is 18 inches okay to the middle of the obstruction so I'm going to write that down right here okay then we need to know the height of the obstruction okay so this is about two and three eighths or so so we're going to go at three inches out here so I'm going to write that down okay 18 inches three inches obstruction and then we're going to do this measurement right here from this fitting and by the way this fitting I have loose like this is the way I get the conduit in is I lift it up I put it in there then put it down put my level on it put in this screw so that's why you might it might not look level right now but it will be okay so you know fitting that's 24 inches Okay, so 24 inches. So we got 18 inches here, three inch obstruction. That's where we're gonna go with the conduit and 24 inches from here to here. So here's my piece of conduit. You notice it's not very long. With this method, you can, use a, you can get away with a shorter piece of conduit. This from here to here is 18 inches. And we're gonna do 22 and a half, 45, 22 and a half. This is three inches, so three times three sixteenths is nine sixteenths. So I'm going to measure 18 and nine sixteenths, and that's going to be our middle mark. Now I'll make my middle mark on the conduit at 18 and nine sixteenths inches. Now, outer marks, outer marks, two and a half inch per inch of obstruction. It's just the same as a regular three point saddle pin. So it's seven and a half inches because our obstruction is three inches. So I'm going to mark seven and a half inches in both directions. Okay, we have 18 and 9 16 inches as our middle mark right here. I have marked seven and a half inches to this side and seven and a half inches to this side. Our first bend is going to be right here on the push through method. And this is going to be bent to 22 and a half degrees, and we're going to bend it on the star. Okay? The star, 22 and a half degrees. Then we're going to push it through and spin it 180 degrees, and then we're going to do the metal one. And the hook is pointing this way on all three of these bends, pointing towards the short end. Start at the short end, that'll give yourself the biggest advantage. Okay. Here's your middle one, and this you bend to 45 degrees on the notch. Okay, here's the third one, you bend to 22 and a half degrees on the arrow. So we got star, notch, arrow. Let me show you the star, notch, and arrow on three different benders. Okay, here's a Klein bender, and here's your star. We're gonna make the first mark on the star. Here's your notch. It actually has a teardrop on the climb. And here's your notch. You can see the notches on both ends. So the second bend's gonna be made on the notch or a teardrop if you have a climb bender. 
Okay, and the next one's going to be bent on the arrow right here. Here's an ideal malleable iron. First bend on the star, second on the notch, the third bend we bend on the arrow. Star, notch, arrow. Here's my ideal aluminum bender. Star, notch, arrow. All right, so the first bend is bent where? The star. Okay, so I'm gonna put the first line right on the star. Okay, we're going to 22 and a half, which is right here. Put your foot on the handle of the bender for safety. We're going to right here. All right, that's 22 and a half. Now we're gonna push it through and spin it 180 degrees. And we're going to the notch. Okay, I'm right on the notch. Get your head sighting right down here so you don't get a dog leg. Okay, like put the, put it right over your shoulder so you can just sight down. Okay, so we're gonna go to 45 degrees right here. Put your foot on the handle of the bender. Okay, so 45s are right there. Okay, and you push it through, and we're gonna put this one on the arrow, right there. Now put your head, it slipped. <laughs> okay, right on the arrow. So put your thumb right here so it doesn't slip. Okay, sight it, this needs to be turned a little bit. All right, that looks good. Now check it again, and right on the arrow, we're going to 22 and a half. Put your foot on the handle of the bender for safety, and we're going right here. All right, there she is. Okay, let's see how it did. That's not bad. There's a little daylight. There's a little daylight on this end. I can give a little tweak. Okay. That came out pretty darn good. So that's why I say, you know, take your time making those marks. Get them accurate. So here is three inches. See that? Right on three inches. Okay, so let's cut the conduit now. We got this end. Might as well make a dry fit. Got that end going in there. This lines up perfectly with the middle. Okay. I'll cut it right here. All right, here we go. Okay, I'll ream it out. Make sure this end's reamed out. Okay. So, put this in right here. Now watch how I do this. Okay, I didn't, I didn't hook up this screw. So you can come up here like this, put it in, and boom. See, it's in. So here you go. This is our fitting where we started. And then here's our mark. And clean this up later because it's pencil. And look, this came out exactly in the middle of the pipe. Perfect. And then here's our other mark, which I'll clean up in a minute. And then here's another one-hole strap. This is the fitting we went into. A fitting, one hole strap. We got our, our third bend, our second bend, which is right in the middle of the pipe. Our first bend right here, a one hole strap, and here's the fitting we started from there. So that's a three point saddle bend, 22 and a half, 45, 22. The shrink was 3 16 per inch of obstruction. The outer marks are just uh, standard, what you'd expect, two and a half inches per inch of obstruction. And our actual measurements were 18 inches, 3 inches of obstruction, and 24 inches. I'll put links in my video description for the various tools you saw in the video, including the Milwaukee M12 bandsaw, three kinds of conduit benders, the Klein reamer, and the Klein gloves. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.